Everybody. Welcome back to another video. This is Jim and Crystal with Serpentine Dream. Um, finally, my first clutch is shed out. Um, got six little babies here. Took me a minute to try to decipher the uh, leopards from the normals. Uh, of course, uh, like some other people brought up in the past, when, you, uh, when you're when you checking out your babies, of course, you want them to always be the uh, two gene, three gene, the, you know, the best it can be. And... Um, thing with this clutch is it's just butter and leopard so just two possible genes and the normals of course they always vary on how they look no normal looks exactly just like another normal but uh, all of them have the same head stamp so that didn't help me any because the normal and the leopards all have the exact same identical head stamp so what I believe I ended up with is three normals two leopards and the two gene butter leopard so we'll go ahead and start checking these out here and I'll mm -hmm. explain why. I think without too much um, dispute on the two gener here. This is the butter leopard. You definitely see that whacked out pattern. Um, so a little harder to dispute the uh, leopard genes in there. And then the light coloration uh, definitely has the butter. So, and it is a female butter leopard, so I will definitely be holding on to her, because uh, currently I do not have one, and I'll hold her back for some breeding projects. So, she is staying here, you cannot have her. So, and then this one's trying to escape, so I guess it wants to be on camera next. Alright, now this here, I'll actually show two here, just to show an example you got a leopard and a normal now, as you can tell on the leopard it's darker in color the blacks are a lot darker where these blacks are more of like a cinnamon dark brown they both have the same head stamps so it's kind of hard to tell by the heads but on the leopard <laughs> still um, it's much much darker I'm not sure if you can tell or not Versus the normal. Of course, they're not one to hold still, so especially trying to hold two snakes. Mm -hmm. As you can see, the, the difference is very subtle. I mean, even on the normal, you know, there's crazy spots in the pattern that you could be like, oh, that's kind of leopardy, but also if you look at the belly, the normal. It's kind of somewhat clear in the middle, not crazy busy. On a leopard, they're generally pretty busy. Uh, my male leopard is crazy, and that's what I'm talking about. That middle part of the belly is just insanely busy. So, that being said, <laughs> this one is the leopard, and this one is the normal. Like I said, we got three normals and two leopards. And then the double. Um, both leopards end up being boys, which is funny. The double end up being a female. And all normals ended up being female. So, I'm going to put these two up. They're not done running around. And then this here is the other leopard. Uh, again, you can tell by the super, super busy belly. It's just crazy in the middle. Thick, dark. And then the head is also a lot darker. Like I said, they all have the exact same head stamp. Just the leopards are just a little shade darker. It's probably, it might be hard to tell on the, on the video here, but their heads are just a little bit darker. And then the last two in there are both the normals. You can tell from the pattern. 
and the heads, and they have not clear bellies, but not near as busy bellies as the other leopards. Something else that kind of threw me off, like the tracks up the side. Um, my leopard has those exact same tracks that are like that, so kind of made me double and triple uh, guess on some of these when I was first going through them. And then just the more and more I looked at them, I could start seeing the, the subtle differences in the brown on the head and in the actual bolster stripe and then the bellies was kind of a big giveaway. So if you're hatching baby leopards, definitely look at the bellies. That'll, uh, that'll definitely help a lot. All right, and I'll go ahead and pull out the uh, two gener again. But she's cute and adorable. And like I said, she will, uh, she'll definitely be a holdback. The rest of them are all up for sale. Um, all three normals and both the leopard males. Um, I will not be holding on to any of those. So, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe if you haven't. Hope everyone's having a great afternoon or night, depends on whenever you're watching this. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.